All the way north of the Seward Peninsula, Sarachev Island, home to the community of Shishmaref, is shrinking. Year in and year out, people here bear witness to the forces of Mother Nature. Long-time residents know its history all too well. I was born and raised here. My father started this business that I'm running in uh, 1960. I took over management about 1990. In 1974, there was a two or three day storm that this island uh, almost didn't survive. We came that close to being underwater. It scared a lot of people. It scared some people so bad that they moved out. I'm the mayor here at Shishmaref. Uh, my name is Howard P. Wilana Sr. Mayor Howard recalled a more recent storm in 2005. During that initial storm, there was um, like three homes that were that we lost to the Mother Nature. But I'm seeing like um, almost 20 homes were moved. But the erosion was so bad that we, they had to be moved. Every year, these storms chip away at Shishmaref's coastline, which continues to proceed at an alarming rate. We have land all the way several hundred feet out before the um, first seawall was ever put up. So this is not really what the map should have looked like from like no. 40 years ago? No. This island is so much smaller now than it was back then. and and. I'm not sure if this island could take an assault like the one in 74. I think we just take it uh, year by year, you know, and take on what uh, Mother Nature uh, throws at us. But why has she thrown so much of her force at this island community? Back in Fairbanks, scientist Tor Jorgensen offered some insight. I'm a landscape ecologist. I have a company Alaska Ecoscience, where we study the effects of climate change on Alaska's landscapes. Shishmaref is built on a barrier island system, and so it's uh, highly dynamic in terms of coastal currents moving. And we see it from sea ice retreat, where sea ice is declining about 3% a year and opening up vast stretches of the Arctic Ocean. So the wind blowing over that open ocean over hundreds to thousands of miles um, can create waves now that are much larger than they used to be. So for Shishmaref, Corps of Engineers has done detailed analyses of erosion rates and what kind of methods to be able to use to even protect a, a barrier island system. So we went and looked at it. We found evidence that a lot of the bluff was being supported by ice underneath of it, and thawing of the bluff was one of the major issues that was causing problems. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers constructed a large rock revetment on the shore to offer protection the island no longer gets naturally from sea ice. Well, the, the seawall is uh, all covered up right now. It's about uh, 100 feet. 100 feet from right here. And it ends right behind this uh, building, the blue building over here, all the way up to the Washakiria. If you hadn't put in those revetments, you would have erosion that would go right now straight down the road between the school and the school housing. All of these revetments have worked. Some have eroded a little bit more than others, but they have all done the job of giving Shishmaref some time. Next time on The Disappearing Frontier. Learn how one family's lives were changed forever by the changes in their climate.